Hi, my name is Sarah Griffith. I work at Westlake Pro in Los Angeles, California. This video is part six of our Avid Pro Tools Matrix video series, where I'm providing an in-depth overview of the functionality of this new converter and providing tutorials covering a variety of functionalities and situations. In this video, I'm expanding upon the previous video and will explain all the different options available in the general settings box of the Dadman GUI, MADI, AES, Pro Tools, and Clocking settings. At the very bottom part of the Dadman GUI, there is a general settings section. There are four tabs labeled Sync, AES EBU, Pro Tools HD, and MADI. The Sync settings part of the GUI is where you change sample rate and clocking settings. You can set the following parameters, source, sampling rate, adapt to, Dante rate, word clock out, and sync termination. Please note that Dadman will only show the settings that are relevant in the given configuration. The Pro Tools matrix can run at a sample rate as high as 384 kHz. You can clock the matrix internally or have it follow or adapt to an external source. The AES-EBU tab allows you to change the output channel status for the AES-EBU channels to be either transparent or default. The two Pro Tools ports can be configured as either two times primary interfaces or as one primary and one expansion. Furthermore, they can be configured to emulate either an HDIO or dual HD MADI providing 32 channels in each interface. In Pro Tools 12.7, you can also choose Matrix 16 or Matrix 32 that will show up as 16 or 32 channel interfaces respectively. The MADI settings are broken up into MADI coax and MADI module settings. The coax settings refer to the built-in MADI coax stream, and the module settings refer to any MADI SFPs installed to be configured. The built-in MADI coax interface can be configured for compatibility with different implementations of MADI. Frame rate can be set to legacy or high, but only if the sample rate is higher than 48 kilohertz. If the sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz, the frame rate is always legacy. In legacy mode, the MADI frame length is maintained and adjacent channels are merged into one channel. In high mode, the MADI frame length is a reduced rate and as a result, the frame rate is increased. Because of this difference, the high mode has lower latency than the legacy mode. Please note that some third-party MADI products may not support high mode. Frame size can be set to normal or extended. Normal mode supports up to 56 channels, whereas extended mode supports up to 64 channels. Channel status can be set to default or transparent. The channel status setting is only relevant when routing incoming AES EBU or MADI channels to a MADI output. In default mode, the MADI channel status bits are defined by the matrix, whereas in transparent mode, the channel status bits from the relevant source AES, EBU, or MADI are transferred to the outgoing MADI signal. In most general cases, it is best to leave it in default mode. Input rate can be set to auto or as A to D. In auto mode, the matrix will try to determine the sample rate of the incoming MADI signal. In as A to D mode, the matrix will assume that the incoming MADI has the same sample rate as the matrix. It's usually recommended to leave this in auto mode. DSD format can either be set to DSD over PCM or native. The MADI SFPs can be configured for compatibility with different implementations of MADI. The port mode can be set to disabled, MADI, or NTP hotlink. Both MADI cards, the daughter card, motherboard mounted version, and the card slot version can be fitted with one or two optical or coaxial SFP modules. The default settings for SFP MADI modules is disabled, so in order to use them, you will need to set them to MADI. It is recommended to disable the ports if no SFP module is installed. The MADI mode defines that the interface operates as a MADI signal. NTP Hotlink is a proprietary audio format used by NTP products. It's a high capacity link offering up to 128 channels of audio at 48 kHz, 24 bit. It's restricted to 48 kHz and only works with optical SFPs. This is used to link multiple Pro Tools matrices together with one or more high capacity links. The output frame rate, size, channel status, DSD format, and the input rate settings are all the same as previously described for the coax MADI. This concludes part six of our Avid Matrix video series. The next video in this series will explain general GUI preferences. To learn more about this product, please check out our YouTube channel to see other videos in this series. We've provided a link in this video description for your convenience.